gosh, I am terrible. I am literally only putting out <laughs> videos about this project once a month, uh, which is unfortunate because I really should put the pedal to the metal on getting this uh, done for my portfolio pieces, you know. Uh, however, I have been distracted with cool things, and one of the things that I have been distracted with is a Udemy course about storyline. So I'm learning all sorts of cool tips and tricks and things to make this better. Um, to, uh, I believe his name is Jeff Batts. Gosh, I need to, I'm going to kick myself. Uh, yeah, Jeff Bat, uh, fantastic. Um, works over at Learning Dojo. I'll drop a link to the course in the description, but it's really cool. And I'm really excited to get to the end, the end of this course so I can start like building projects along with him through his video content. But for me, uh, I left off for a month ago. Uh, being the world's best plagiarist. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I have uh, signals to rewrite the content. So let's just drop a video real quick to rewrite this content in a way that makes sense as to how to play. So let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, highlighty stuff here. Ugh, come on. Ta-da. All right, cool. We're not highlighted. So um, this is just me using my English degree uh, to rewrite this content uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, to play a game of rock, paper, scissors. There must be two players. Cool. And I'm going to delete this because we've already gotten it. Uh, we are in the setup portion. So let's see. Let's go ahead and just add this as a section setup. Is there a hotkey to remove formatting? That would be great. Clear all formatting. No, there's not. At least it doesn't say so right there. Uh, place one down in front of you, palm up. Your other hand will be used to make the shape of the object you want to play once the game starts. Um, each player will place one hand in front of them. Palm up. Their other hand will be used to form the shapes used to play the game. So far, so good. It's probably the most boring video. I should probably talk about other things while I write. Uh, count down, agree on a cue that you'll use to match shapes with your opponent. Um, let's see, determine a, determine a, I don't wanna go word for word, but cue's such a good word. Determine a signal. Uh, determine the process. Um, both players should agree upon a countdown process as well as a signal to form their shapes ahead of, uh, let's see, before, to form their shapes before the game begins. I like that. That's all original, so we're well, original-ish, so we're going to go ahead and clear the highlighting. Um, if the majority, their shape on the count of three, and eh, okay. Most commonly, each player taps their shape forming hand against their palm three times for three beats. And then they form their shape on the fourth count. Another variation of this is to tap twice and form a shape on three. Furthermore, players can and often yeah, generally recite rock, paper, scissors, shoot when uh, when going through. through this process. And you know what, now that I'm doing this, um, 
I feel like that second alternative one should go after this because I feel like the more common way to do it is rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So it's four beats instead of three. Maybe shoot, maybe throw in that third one as a variation. For the more general rock, paper, going through the process on the fourth beat, uh, shoot. Players will either form, or players will form their hands into a shape representing one of three objects, rock, paper, or scissors. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's go and get rid of this. We're actually going to probably end up with more text than we started with. Um, this is in here. The loser of the game. Okay, so loser. Let's go ahead and cut this and paste it at the end. Come back to it later. By the way, if you've made it this far uh, and you're already bored to death, feel free to skip this video. It's just going to be me going through this and rewriting stuff. Um, tap your closed hand against your palm to count down. Yep. Um, I like the synchronized bit. Let's figure out where to put that. T taps, uh, taps their shape forming hand against their palm for three beats. Each player does this in unison. I like that. Do, do, do. Be sure you're on the same page as far as timing your plays. Play one of three objects when it's time to play. With three objects, either rock, paper, scissors. You'll then name a winner based on the object played. Um, you know what? I don't like the three thing, like one, two, three. I'm just going to go with a standardized version of rules, which is probably good instructionally anyway. Like, don't muddy the instructional process with alternate ways to do things. Like, if you're going to train someone to do something, train them the one way. <laughs> Have them figure that out first, and then if they want to vary it down the line, sure. But I kind of like this. Um, a winner is then determined based on the shapes that were formed. Um, or thrown. Both players must throw at the same time. I kind of like this. Both players must throw their shapes at the same time. If one player is late instead of delays, um, the result isn't trustworthy. We need a better way to say that. The outcome... Not be trusted. Let's put it as a placeholder, you know. Cannot be trusted. We're at least getting farther away from the original text. Uh, cannot be trusted and. Mm -mm -mm. And, the, and both players should restart the round. Okay, I like that. Um, keep going, keep going, keep going. What else? Play one of three objects, either rock, paper, scissors, and the owner based on the object. Every game will be different, so stay alert. I don't care about that. I mean, that's fun, but whatever. Um, but, but one player is late. We already determined the we already did determine the winner bit. Each object wins against one shape and loses to another. Each shape wins against one shape and loses to another. For example, rock. Paper covers rock. Paper covers rock. The winning scenarios are as follows. Paper covers rock. Rock crushes scissors. And scissors cut Paper. Boo, boo, boo. In other words, the player who picks the stronger object wins the round. Great. I feel like I'm reliving my college career right now where I'm rephrasing words in order to 
avoid having turn it in, uh, run a terrible plagiarism report on my paper, even though I need to like cite sources. Ah, anyway, uh, let's see. To play rock, ball your hand into a fist. To play paper. Extend your palm outward, face down. To play scissors. How do they explain this one? That's a good one. Uh, use two fingers to mimic the shape of an open pair of scissors. Um, ball your hand into a fist with your index and middle fingers extended, imitating the blades. I don't know, imitating an open pair of scissors. I think that's far enough away from the source text to uh, be worthy. Oh man, we're past the 10 minute mark. Uh, the loser of the game has the right to call for best two out of three. If a player loses, they may request best two out of three, meaning that the players will play up to three rounds. With, meaning the players will play up to three rounds, and the overall winner will must win the majority of the rounds. I'm good with that. All right, well, um, sorry that this one was kind of boring, but I just wanted to get it done. But we at least have something mostly original. Um, and I guess, you know, now that we've already gone past the 10 minute mark, if you're still with me, I guess I can kind of be pensive for a minute. You know, like I'm currently working with a client right now, like freelancing. And a lot of it is just like, here's all this information, you know, do something with this. And, you know, reinventing the wheel is uh, futile, uh, honestly. And I mean, with this particular client, it would be kind of the same way, but it needs to be per repurposed in such a way that it makes things more efficient and more streamlined. And I think in this particular case, it's not even necessarily that this has to be more efficient and more streamlined, but it has to be mine in some way. And, you know, I'll definitely give credit and pay homage and stuff. And I don't know if someone's catching this, you know, right now and is like, you know, finger wag, shame on you, Alex, uh, please tell me. Uh, but a lot of what we do is distill information that already exists somewhere, whether it's in someone's mind or in a binder full of text or on a page somewhere, and we need to make it good. We need to make it retainable. We need to make it engaging. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do here is take this static web page and turn this information into something palatable. So, uh, you know, wish me luck. Uh, I'm definitely not letting this go past the 15-minute mark, but... Thanks for being with me at this point, and I'm not sure what's next. Um, I'll figure it out. I'm kind of itching to just get into slide building, but that may not be the right answer. But, you know, based on how frequently I put these out, I may have a whole month to think about it. So thanks for sticking with me, and I will see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.